Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to calculate capital gains on home sale. Capital gains on the sale of a home can be a complex topic. The first step is to determine your cost basis in the property. This includes the purchase price plus any capital improvements made to the home. Capital improvements are expenses that add value to the home, prolong its life, or adapt it for new uses. Examples include adding a new roof or renovating a kitchen. Routine repairs and maintenance do not count as capital improvements. And next, you need to calculate the selling price of the home. This is the amount you received from the buyer minus any selling expenses. Selling expenses can include real estate agent commissions and legal fees. Subtract your cost basis from the selling price to find your capital gain. If you have lived in the home for at least two of the five years before the sale, you may qualify for a capital gains exclusion. This exclusion allows you to exclude up to $250,000 of the gain if you are single, or up to $500,000 if you are married filing jointly. To qualify, the home must be your primary residence. If your capital gain exceeds the exclusion amount, you may have to pay capital gains tax on the excess. The tax rate depends on your income level and how long you owned the home. Long-term capital gains tax rates are generally lower than short-term rates. And it is important to keep thorough records of your home purchase, improvements, and selling expenses. These records will help you accurately calculate your capital gain and determine if you qualify for any exclusions. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.